All right, it says we're live. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Sorry for coming in late. I was watching the Gators lose 100 to 102. I'll be right back. I need a cold snack. Oh, man. Do you need that right there? Figure out how to need it. Be careful what you wish for. Build your site and demeanor with success. Some ceramic spikes and the loading your servers. <laughs> Can you not figure it out? Here. I got it. Just give me a minute. All right. Oh, and then what just look, look, good. Nope, no, you see what's happening? What's up, guys? Oh, so we're using Michael's older computer to be able to see you guys in the comments. Yep. Uh, man, sorry. Got to get my mind focused on. I was just going through an emotional, emotional basketball game. College Gators, they got beat. They lost by two points. Colorado just beat us. It was, I mean, they did just go on like a 20 point run. Just a loot, but it was insane. Auntie Anne, hello. Natasha Lynn, Aaron, Brian Wilkerson, Poco, hello. Patricia Ridley uh, is hanging out in us. Uh, says hello from Nashville, Tennessee. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Joseph. Susie uh, Jacobson. Stu uh, Sheila Tubbs, hello. Oh, is that a uh, Heil Shaw Fisher? From hello from Denmark. Hello, hello. Mama Carolyn's in the house. McKevin, sorry, my heart is pounding right now. <laughs> Michael needs a minute, guys. <laughs> I just told Lissa that if the game didn't end, the live was going to have to take a couple minute pause, or you guys were going to have to give me a couple minutes while the game, because I'm going like, man, <laughs> they just hit a three pointer to tie it with nine seconds left, and Serenity was even telling me I had to calm down. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because he started knocking over everything. Oh, man. It was intense. Big Burt's Adventures, hello from Utah State uh, Lake City. Hello. I can see it from here. You're good, baby. Patty Price, oops, I'm a little late. That's okay. Thank you for hanging out with us today, Patty. Uh, Random Shorts, hi, I am from Kentucky. Well, what's going on, Random Shorts? Uh, oh, trapped in Walmart, just saying, hey, that's our friends Kevin and Jamie with our works little field. How y'all doing tonight? Trapped in Walmart. I can't even see my crafting video for Easter, hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. Mary, hello, Ma Mary, Mike, and Lissa. We have six inches of snow today in Michigan. Oh, man. Dang. That's a beast. Uh, hey, y'all. I'm your neighbor. My husband opened his computer shop in Danville recently. He's been the IT uh, head at Danville School for 20 years for future info. That's a uh, ginger, ginger Laster. Is that what that says? Laster. Yes, I think it is. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, Uncle David is also um, a, a big uh, IT guy as well. So hopefully, if anything does uh, happen, we can get him to take care of it if something can't fix for us. Candace Poole said, you guys are fuzzy, not your usual. You need a good tower to get those laptops. Love you guys. <laughs> yeah. That's true, Janice. Yeah. That's true. But un unfortunately, until we get really into the house and get it completed and get us a little office going on, this laptop issue is going to have to do. <laughs> Man. Hello, Karen. Ridge Life. What's up, Tim? You see my shirt? Go Ridge Life. I know you're not feeling well, Tim. I hope you feel better, brother. Here for you tonight. Robert, who knows who I am? Robert, who knows who I am? Oh, I know who that Robert is. That's Bobby with Petty Jean River Homestead. What's going on, Bobby? They're not fuzzy anymore for me. It cleared up. Yeah, uh, we do apologize, guys. Once again, uh, we're streaming off my phone tonight because last night, well, actually, it was early this morning in the wee hours. Um, our computer just went black. It just died. Lisa was finishing up an edit, and uh, she was going from Premiere Pro to the encoding, and uh, in the middle of encoding, uh, which is where it takes the Premiere, um, the edit, and turn it into the video itself. And uh, it was it was just encoding, and I 
put it on the desk and just plug the charger right into the back of the computer. And as soon as I did that, it just went black. It Whole thing shut down. On. It won't come back on. Greg and Gina, hey guys, can't stay on at calling hours for Gina's grandma. That's okay. Thanks for popping in and saying hey. My phone is clear, but the TV is blurry. Hey. What's house? What's going on? RK Wilson. Hello, all. Rebecca's in the house. Lonely Hitchhiker Kid. Hello. Rhonda Ray of Sunshine. Hello. So, what are we doing? Uh, stressing about this gator loss. Well, no. About videos <laughs> on your <laughs> slide. Um, for the time being. Yes. So, for all 285 people hanging out with us, thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much for hanging out with us on a Friday. Um, but for now, until the future, time being, until the computer issue is fixed, we are going to be straight flogging, straight old school. We're going back to shooting the sheet with the we're gonna We're going to give you guys a video, shoot the sheet, because we can't edit our videos. We can't up, well, we can still upload, but until we can get an editing software, I don't even want to put it back on to my laptop. That was such a nightmare. So okay. until the, we do have um, a tech a technician coming okay. back out on Monday uh, to change the motherboard in our laptop. So that's the plan. Hopefully Monday we'll be back up and running. Lori Carp, hello, hello. Donna, hello from Illinois. Glad to see you uh, getting to do live. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, Donna. Junk to Jim's Homestead. Hey, guys. <laughs> Speaking of Junk to Jim's Homestead, Gumby. You guys were the, were the last ones logged into my laptop because when I turned my laptop on and found the charger and plugged it in, I was logged in to your uh, YouTube and your <laughs> and your email. Um, so those last uh, emails that you got, you need to call. Uh, you need to email those sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said hey, but what's going on, Mama Carolyn? Our I RK Wilkinson, that's so funny. I just I was going through the shorts that we posted, and the one that Michael posted when we were taking the hike in Arizona. Yep. I watched that right before, and he just asked when we were coming back. Yeah, <laughs> um, we're not really uh, we're not looking to move out to Arizona anymore. We were looking uh, at Arizona for a destination. We have found a home here in Arkansas. Although we would love to still own some property out in the desert to have a desert retreat. Uh, but uh, yeah, we went out there in Arizona last, no, two Julys ago or so, something like that. Right. right before we bought the Florida property. McKevin said, you probably overheated the processor. Laptops are not meant for extendo, extensive video rendering. They get way too hot. <laughs> So it looks like a desktop is going to eventually be your way to go anyway. Any update about the well, said Janice Poole. Hey, <laughs> there is an update. I don't know if you've heard the update, but there is an update. The well guy that we uh, decided to go with is uh, hopefully going to be able to come out here sometime this weekend to assess the situation. Assess the situation. Where is England? Paul Honeyman said Ian J. Smith. <laughs> I know Ian is also from. Oh, there is Paul Honeyman right after him. He commented <laughs> back to back. There he is. There's our friends from across the pond yonder. Um, so the the newest update. Hopefully he can come out this weekend and assess where he's going to be. Uh, doing the well. He said he has over 20 wells he's digging in Oklahoma right now. He just can't pull up off and come over here. He didn't expect uh, to have so many when he got there. He told me he only had one property to go to before me, and he wanted to get this in before he went out of town. So I wasted, I won't say I wasted everyone's time, but I pressured everybody into coming over to help us so quickly. And then to find out this property that he went to had 20 wells to be dug. So now it may be next week. It may be, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. We can show them what we bought. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Cindy Brown, hello, hello. <laughs> What's that name? Uh, 
Vernia. Is that Vernia Armstrong? Hello from fellow Arkan uh, Arkansan. I have really enjoyed watching your journey. Keep going. Well, thank you. Thank you. Desktops, you can always add more fans for cooling. That's why I sent you the cooling pad for the laptop. Okay. And you know what? Ever since you sent us that, it has never not been on that cooling pad. Yeah. Them little fans yeah. on that. Blow and blow and blow. See what's on me. Oh, okay. So since you didn't get to see the video today that was supposed to come out, which was us going on our adventure to the quartz mines. Brown Workerson, what's the big news? You're gonna know soon. You're gonna know soon. <laughs> But first, feast your eyes on some amethyst. <laughs> mm. So we did not dig these. Uh, the shop had those, but they had a big Ziploc bag full of little pieces like that for $10, guys. Like I said, I use those for my crafts and a whole bunch of things, jewelry and candles. and That's cool, too. And they got some really, really big, really nice pieces yeah. in there. And then this is one of my favorite pieces that Max Michael got me. This is a smoky quartz. No, is that the smoky quartz? Yes. Okay. Listen, did you ever receive the second package from Jean? Wants to know. Not exactly sure. We do have some uh, packages that we uh, recently got in the mail, or at least that was recently delivered to us from Uncle David. And uh, we will be opening them soon on a <laughs> mail call. <laughs> or maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll do it on the Dreaming with Drifters. Here's our friend Gun Mandel. One, one or the other. Gun Mandel said hello from Norway. It's yeah. been a while since I joined your live. Happy to catch up today. You joined in on a good day. We got some big news we're announcing here very shortly. How's the driveway doing? Uh, Steve Grace wants to know. It's much better. Will be better when they know. They know, right? What about the rocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be better when the second load of rocks come. Oh man, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Let's just close over there so I'm Thank missing you. the cats running you. by, running <laughs> by. Listen, you could sell some of that money, money, money. <laughs> yes. Um. If you guys did not know, on Drifting Dreamers 5, I know our friends over, and you know what, let's stop for a second. 391 people I see in here, I believe, watching. If you haven't subscribed to our vlog channel, Dreaming with Drifters, you definitely need to get over there and subscribe because they're seeing so much more and so much faster than Dream Drifting Dreamers 5. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely go over there and check that out because we have rock on the Corduroy Road. Yep. Ooh. Yay. So when the second load comes, the road will be even, even better. Yeah. yeah. It's not as bumpy now. <laughs> you know, oh, uh, Tina Smith said something about, um, I think maybe pouring the chips in some resin. And then David Moffat said, uh, yeah, I told them to make a countertop mm -hmm. for the future island. There are so many awesome ideas. Awesome ideas. Trust me, I got a whole bunch running through my mind. <laughs> Uh, we dream of new computers, motorcycles. Easter Bunny needs to bring us golden eggs, said Obert. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, man. Did you weigh the big stone, said Mama Carolyn? Actually, to be completely honest with you, after the live tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time, after the live tonight, the newest video on Drifting Dreamers 5 will come out. Shooting sheep with the Smiths. <laughs> And you can see us taking the big rocks to the the car wash and hosing them off and see what they look like now, night and day. Well, you've seen it. You see the thumbnail. Hello, Pearl. She said, Lisa, Mike, you are so amazing. Thank you very much. Well, you are amazing, too. Uh, Scott Slinger said, hey, uh, hi, everyone. That smoky quartz looks like snowflake obsidian. I thought it looked like obsidian also um while we were there but it is marked uh smoky quartz yeah. they had I mean, it they had it marked as a they have a couple of different black stones there at the miller mine uh store the miller rock shop 
Uh, Brenda Sutterfield, DD5. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your weekend with the kids. Love you guys. Sorry to hear about your computer not working right. Well, thank you very much. T. McD, our friend Beachy. Oh, Pop says it looks like he lost his membership. Oh, Pop, dang. I know you wanted to have that badge rolling. We appreciate and love you so much, Pops. You are an, an outstanding subscriber and an outstanding and wonderful friend as well. We really do appreciate it. I hope we do get to meet you one day soon. I oh, sent Serenity an outfit for Easter. Set a touch. <laughs> We we're actually just talking about that. Jinky V said they just subscribed to the other channel. Thank you so Thank much. You. Barbara said, I want to dig crystals when I visit Arkansas in May. You can. It's about, a, I would say, an hour and a half drive from where the meetup is going to be. And speaking of the meetup, that is something what we're going to be announcing. That's going to be part of the big news. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to tell you. <laughs> Dennis Green said, sorry, I have to cut out early to have dinner with my son and his family. Oh, and congratulations on closing with the Florida property. Thank you so Thank much, you. brother. And enjoy your time with your family. I'm glad you got to spend some time with your son tonight. Hang out tough. Regina Halcom said, the courts are so pretty. I love them. They are. Six, it's almost 630. I was going to wait till 6.30. We got five or 409 people hanging out with us tonight. Betty Ann Dixon, hello. T. McD, hello. Yes, uh, Aaron, you're right. Aaron said the Hot Springs area is very nice and lots to do. I think it says lots. Yeah, the little heart. The heart is covering <laughs> two words, so I'm assuming it says lots. Yes, it does. Ah. Auntie Ann said they call them Arkansas diamonds. <laughs> I love hey. that the crystals, you know, they project lots of different kinds of energy or properties. And they do. You can use them in meditation and that you can. I love crystals. Yeah, different crystals with different properties. Uh MT Homestead hanging out. Big Mike, what's going on? Said hello, Mike and Lissa. You just came in time for some uh some big news and some beans spilling by Lissa. Come on in. Lissa's going to show you what's happening on Lissa's crafty meditation. And since they can't see it because of yep. the computer. And, and because the computer is down and she's not been able to edit it and get it uploaded, we're going to go ahead and show you guys a sneak peek. Little Easter vase. And I got everything from Dollar Tree, guys. Dollar, dollar. <laughs> It took me like 15 minutes to put this all together. <laughs> that looks like slag glass, not smoky quartz. It uh, it wasn't in the slag glass pile. They did have a different color slag glass throughout. Here, I'm going to try to get it so that they can see the, is it on the screen? Uh, I can just look. Yeah. See the crystals in it. Hello, hello. So pretty. Oh, in the bottom, too. The bottom has a good shot of him. Somebody put a work little field in timeout, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ian J. Smith. Very gorgeous. Um, so I have some big news to announce, guys. It is very exciting, and uh, and I'm very humbled to announce this news. I'm uh, 449 people. Oh, should we wait and wait until there's 500, or should we go ahead and announce I'll it? I'll just tell the dreamers already. We've been making them wait and wait and wait. Cassie's Kitchens Creation said, is there an app that you can download to confirm the Black Crystal? Maybe. Hey, Lisa, is that the is that the new YouTube channel you've been watching? Yeah. Hey guys, uh, our Lisa has been watching your channel. Uh, what is that? Cassie's uh, Kitchens Creations or whatever. Um, she has uh, been posting some really cool uh, cooking videos here lately, and uh, you guys might like it. Give her a check it out. Yeah, David Moffat, tell him again. Jimmy Kevin, go sit in the corner. 
Liam McGotham, what's going on, guys? Where's my phone? See if I can pull up a nap. RK Wilson, I have a challenge for everyone. Go one week without any sugar and see how you feel. I did and proud to say no longer borderline diabetic. Wow, that's a big challenge. Okay, you ready, Alyssa? I'm going to announce this news. So, as you know, we are having a meetup in May. May 17th, 18th, and 19th. It is the Arkansas River Valley Homesteaders Meetup. And we are having several events happening on that particular Saturday. One of those said events is a fishing tournament. Now, the fishing tournament is going to cost uh, money to be able to enter uh, for adults. They are going to be $25 uh, to enter the fishing tournament. Um, and for children, uh, anyone under 18, uh, you are going to be entering the fishing tournament for free because there is a whole different class for children. So the children are going to have their own class and the adults are going to have their own class. Well, we have confirmed our first big time sponsor giveaway, guys. Are you ready for this? First place, the winner of the first of the first place winner of the fishing tournament is going to be receiving a fishing kayak donated by Tractor Supply Company right here out of Boonville. Thank you guys so much up at Tractor Supply Company in Boonville for donating the fishing kayak. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I think that is so cool. I think that's it's exciting. Yes, Auntie Ann, that is so awesome. I have, or what is it, baby? When you're done, go ahead. I'm going to do the Google search for this bit. Okay. So go ahead. Uh, Gun Mandel said the 17th of May is is the Norwegian uh, Norwegian uh, Constitution Day. Wow, that's pretty cool. The last image Licia showed confirmed that the stone is indeed a smoky quartz. Said Cassie's Kitchen Creations. Yeah. Yes, that's awesome news, everybody. Man, I'm finally seeing every, everybody roll through. Um, also, uh, in part of that, guys, we are also going to be having a raffle. Um, and those raffle tickets that you guys are going to be able to purchase, we'll have more information about them uh, soon. Um, but they will be uh, $5 a piece, and you'll be able to get deals uh, by more tickets you purchase. But we're going to be raffling off uh, big-time items, such as an e-bike. We're uh, maybe two e-bikes. We're going to be raffling off a portable power station, maybe with solar panels. Um, we're going to be raffling off pew, pew, super soaker. We'll see what's happening. You guys are going to be here. You guys are going to know. Chance Weaver said, oh, I'm entering. Hello, Virginia. Um, and if you guys are interested in the fishing tournament, uh, you can email us if you would like. Um, but Uncle David with Come On Homesteading and Gary with Simple Life Reclaimed are going to be heading the fishing tournament. I'm going to be giving them more information about it. That's why they haven't been spoken about it. Um, but everything is rolling in. Speaking about it. Thank you very much. Oh, no, no, no. Please. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but that's so cool. It's awesome. 455 in here. Thank you guys We're so getting much. Getting on with it. Yes, they are playing their games online. Yeah, but <laughs> they should be on the Nomad, and we're on T-Mobile, and we're on the phone. Oh, and that's why we're on the phone. Sorry, it's blurry, guys. But you are right. The kids are playing online. Yes, they are playing the game. <laughs> yeah, and there are storms in the area. I'm surprised it's not raining right yeah. now. They have, it's been called for rain for last three days here karen spear hello hello dear but the difference is is that they're playing the game out in the shouts no no they're they're in here are they yeah they're in here oh, that's surprising i didn't see talent come in if i pay postage can i buy some raffle tickets at dd5 <laughs> ian j smith i tell you what it let's say hypothetically you win you know how much money that would cost to send an e-bike to the UK? <laughs> if you want to pay postage and you want to enter that, I tell you what, I'll send it. If you want to pay postage, but I mean, I don't know how much it would cost. <laughs> Commercial on our end. Hey, David Moffat said, I'll take your rain over the snow any day. Tasha Lynn said, we have bad storm coming in within the hour. Yeah, that's what they, when you click the skip button, we just got hit with an ad. Mike, the hot springs area is where the Arkansas uh, sharpening stones come from. They are awesome. Okay. Oh, Ian J. Smith said, yeah, but I could gift it. Okay. 
Yes, sir. Yes, you could. Probably cost of buying one. I know, right, Auntie Anne? <laughs> Wanda Henry, hello, hello, dear. Also, we do have a little bit more uh, pretty big news. It's uh, it's not final yet, but uh, we uh, next month, I believe, we will make, uh, hopefully before next month, but next month for sure, we will be making our final payment and final mm -hmm. chunk pay on the covered carport that's covering Yay. the trailer. <laughs> That'll be another payment out the window. Check. Check it off the list. Yep. You doing okay? Yeah. Lori Carp said, hello, Serenity. Susan Jacob, hello, Serenity. Hi. She got lucky and got a free milkshake at McDonald's today. Yeah, we did. Well, good day, USA. There's our friend Radio Jonesy on tour. What's going on? Yeah, Serenity, how did we get a free large milkshake today? Okay, let me see if I can remember. So, this lady made a vanilla milkshake with whipped cream. And, the, and this customer wanted no cream and he didn't want her to make it again and he just gave it to us yep. she said it was free yep she was like listen i'm gonna throw it away do you guys want it we were like mm -hmm, <laughs> you better believe it <laughs> Kayla Tom said mike did you answer his question can he buy the tickets yes absolutely um these tickets are going to be available if you want to buy them we will we will allow you to buy them um we'll even do um like if we have multiple of them we could do like a live recording of them of like writing the name on the tickets and putting in or whatever or send you a, a picture or something like confirming it you're getting our one right so oh lovely and clear now oh good i'm glad nice. I yeah that. i see it's on there yep brenda alby said hi serenity hi tita it's a picture just got clear i can actually see your face yes everybody well, said that everyone Hello. Michigan Life Above the 45th Parallel. Jason and uh Jason. Sizzle and Cl uh, Clarissa. What's going on, guys? That's going on. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't hit you up earlier, Sizzle. Well, you could message me after the live, but I was gonna be like, hey, you know them gators are playing, boy. We need to talk about some, 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 some. And then they lost. I'm like. Serenity, what do you think about uh, cleaning off the crystals, the big ones? After it, it was really pretty. And also, satisfying, I guess. <laughs> Pam B said, so what came today that you referred to in your video earlier? Um, we did receive lots. Uh, well, I say lots. We did uh, receive some packages uh, earlier today that we will be doing a mail call on soon. And, I, and we also received the news uh, about Tractor Supply uh, being the sponsor of uh, of the fishing kayak. We'll be giving away at the meetup uh, for the winner of the fishing tournament. Susie Jacobson asked if Sorrenti had fun with Uncle David. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And talent. <laughs> Rue getting on with it said, would you break the crystal apart? We do want to break one of them. Yeah. Yeah. But just because I know... There's more in there. I Man. just that one was how a, it's amazing just, it would look, you know. The biggest one has so many crystals all over it. And you can see there's air pockets inside pocket. of it. It sees the little crystals inside. And I bet if you bust that thing down, there's hundreds of giant, really beautiful crystals in yeah. it. I know there is. And I'm like, I'm sure he could probably find me a big quartz like that again, you know. It's just it's a oh, lot of work to get it. <laughs> uh Sherry Udell said, Serenity. Jacqueline said to tell you she is super, uh, she is excited to meet you and she is bringing the super soaker squirt guns for all the kids at the meetup. Well, let's unpack my swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Whoa, get a towel, get a towel. I didn't do that. You did that. You did that. You knocked it down. I knocked it down. Yes, you knocked it. <laughs> You're the one who went to the ground. And You're I the one that moved your foot to it. All right. I'll he said I could see a perfect crystal inside. That's why I asked. That, that would be yeah. amazing. Get the spray so we yeah. can spray the floor. Thank you. Serenity, you look so pretty when y'all went with Uncle David, said Lori Carp. Thank you. A lot of people. Yes. Cassandra McCollum. Good idea. Good idea. You should add crystals as the emojis on the crafty meditations. 
<laughs> That's a great idea. I love that. Okay, so. Did you guys hear about Princess Catherine? Sad. No, um, we did. <laughs> or at, least, at least I did. You okay? No, I didn't hear. Chance Weaver said, uh, what kind of kayak will I be wearing? Uh, a fishing kayak. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the brand of it. Um, that he told uh, the manager of the store uh, told me to come back when it was a little bit closer to the time of the giveaway, and, and we'll work out all the particulars and stuff like that. Serenity, Miss mm -hmm. Lori said, Serenity looked so pretty when you, you guys went with Uncle David. <laughs> Ian J Smith said, How much crud did you get off of the car wash that you got? Actually, you get guys. We'll get to see that. Right after the live? Yep, right after the live, guys, at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, right after the live. Dripping Dreamers 5. Hey, Dana. You Have a good night. Hey, Dana. Good night. Uh, you'll be able to see us blasting all the crud off of it. We've took you. Shoot. <laughs> okay, Parks, what's going on? Finally caught your live. Hello. Don't do that, please. I got here late, but did you find the uh, crystal, Lissa? Something I missed that. Come on with the come on. Looks like Uncle. Come on with the come on and keeping the reels hanging out. Look, I'm looking at the camera over here, and it's over here. <laughs> it's because the comments are right. Yeah, here, the comments you know? being over here. Look, a thorn between the the roses. Love you, Mike. <laughs> right, Mike Birch. <laughs> and Nona Milton. Hey, fam. Steve Grace said, bye, guys. Got to go. Bye, Steve. Don't forget, 7 o'clock, new video coming out. Everyone, uh, oh, Uncle David said he's eating everybody, so he's not going to be able to tag. But he's lurking. But he's in the background lurking, lurking. <laughs> K62, what's going on, K? Man, I'll tell you what. I am so ready to start back working on the shelves. Yeah, me too. I am so ready. I think the kids are ready too. He's behind you in the window. <laughs> it's actually surprising I didn't shut the blinds. I normally shut the blinds. Lissa, are you going to lay the crystals out to charge on Monday? Said Cindy Brown. Yes, ma'am. She's you already she's already got some outside any uh outside already. <laughs> uh, she's already having some set up in little in the flower area around uh, where the where the rock circle is. <laughs> Win, said Uncle David. Win. Mike, how's the road holding up? Said K Parks. It's holding up pretty good. I definitely need to get that uh that next layer of rock on. Uh, we do have another load of rock coming in, so you guys will be able to hopefully see that video hopefully. soon when that stuff. And if not, by then we can always do a shoot and see with the Cammy Lawrence. Hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I wasn't clear. I was w uh, wondering where did you get the crystal? Rue getting on with it wants to know. Oh, we uh, it was. Jim Coleman. It's a yeah. Um, Miller's Mine is yeah. the name of the mine. It because we bought the tag from the Miller's Rock Shop, who paid ten dollars, and we go to the Miller's Mine. I think Jim Coleman owns it, um, but it was out of the Miller Mine. And the number one and number two biggest quartz ever to come out of Miller's Mine in Arkansas history. <laughs> I'm so excited. Paul said, We're both now becoming rock counts. <laughs> yeah. I've always been one. I have a whole bunch of crystals and rocks that is put up in storage and stuff. I haven't even showed you guys. And <laughs> yeah. that, hey, that's right, Uncle David. Uber's back on the mountain moving rocks. Got a little bit easier. I would love it if Uber could come move some of these brush piles out the way. <laughs> all, all in good time. Mike, are you planning on getting another carport to use behind the camper? I'll uh, check it. I'll check it after the live Anona. Uh, right behind the camper is actually where the doggy area is going to be. So definitely not. Getting near to 500. We got 481 hanging out with us. Nice. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. Yes, we could sell the, uh, sell the big uh, 
The Big Rock, yeah, uh, Brian Wilkinson. I'm sure they are worth money. I'm sure they are because you can buy the same exact identical ones at the Miller Rock Shop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Except they're smaller and you can buy them like per pound or something like that. Yeah, they have some pretty decent size ones. But... Yeah. So, I mean, imagine how many of those, we got a thousand of those pretty decent size ones. You know what I'm saying? Right. And for $20 a piece, we got a thousand of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Rent. grounding too, you know, like being yep. in the dirt and being outside. It's tell baby girl congratulations on making good grades on a report card. Tell the boys also congratulations on making go uh, good grades. Also said Brenda Sutterfield. You heard? You heard that? <laughs> Cindy Brown dropping the link for Jim Coleman's crystal mine. Well, uh, when uh, after we get done polishing, uh, we're not polishing up, but cleaning up a little more, we'll be taking pictures and sending them actually to the Miller Rock Shop so you guys can see those there. You guys, I've been dreaming to like have a crystal that big, any crystal that big. You know, those things are expensive. Yeah. Expensive. So I don't know. I, I got to hang on to one, you know. <laughs> Dang. I do apologize. I see that we're real blurry again. Cindy Brown, Link Ninja. I know, right? Paul Honeyman's so right. Mike, no, don't sell the rocks. You know the IRS is going to want to share. You're right. They're not for sale. But if anyone wants to come and get them for free, I'll give them to you as long as you're willing to make a small donation <laughs> to the calls. <laughs> Howdy from uh, East Tennessee. We watch all your videos. Good luck, Sue Swanson. Thank you so much, Sue. 493 people. We're almost at 500, guys. If you haven't shared it, everybody share the video. Let you let them know. Let everyone know. Come hang out. <laughs> Come. Oh my. It, it, you guys, I'm so proud of the kids with their grades. It, it's a huge difference from the grades that they were making in Florida when. <laughs> We were there so and the fact that all three of them are making these grades it just makes me even more glad yep. that we moved here you know change. uncle david said hey serenity well not yours well your but... grades haven't changed you've been straight a's but you're still straight a's and you're doing and you're happier in school right yeah, I like this school better than you. Yeah. yeah. It's more friendly. Dang, thank you so much. David Moffat just Dang. gifted five memberships. Thank you so much, David Moffat. Oh, Grandma K got a a, a, a membership. Lori Larkin. Larkin. A no no Back to good. Rachel got one. Nice. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks. Marco Torres, what's going on? <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I thought I was drunk. Blurry. Oh, yeah. little fields at smaller classrooms, more personal attention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was going to make that fun. The relaxed atmosphere, the whole family is in yeah. now. Uh, sure helps. Go ahead. Matthew Evans says, I'm glad you said that. I thought I was drunk. <laughs> Worry. Yeah, yeah. Daddy? What's your uh, we uh, The live ends at 7 o'clock uh central time and right after the live don't forget our newest video coming out you guys are going to get to see the before and after and what it looks like at the uh car wash pressure uh washing these crystals maybe you see me hit Lisa with the wand a couple times beat her up i don't know maybe she got some rocks on her eye maybe i'm talking about myself i don't know i got soaking wet daddy I thought I forgot that our live started at six. So when I looked at the clock, I was like, "Huh?" Yeah, Marco Tura said we are we are proud of your kids. Thank you so much, Marco. Thank you, thank you. David Moffat said, "Just remember, it only costs a cup of coffee a month to keep those gifted membership active." Thank you so much. And if you were just gifted a uh, membership, don't forget to accept your membership, guys. I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but if you were gifted one, I believe you might have to accept the membership. Dr. Torres said, "Our sons were like that when you had to feel." Cool. She's so smart. They all are such great kids. They really are. Yeah, thank you. Horse racing time, guys. It will end sooner than later. Yeah, right? 
Very much right. Ooh, the big question is, will David have the boat ready for the meetup? That's a good question. He better. He better. I haven't got to the ride on David's boat yet. Oh, Anna, uh, Anna Bohr said it accepts it automatically, the memberships. Okay, cool, guys. So you don't have to worry about accepting the gifted membership then. Look at all the emojis. Woo, look at those uh, member emojis. Oh, We're going to have to put some new member emojis in. Maybe just add some crystals for this channel as well. <laughs> David Moffat said, uh, that is the real question. He'll probably show up on the new Harley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lori Larkin dropping the member emojis. Thank you so much. I am aboard. Come on, keeping it real. Hmm. Stay tuned. Big <laughs> things happen. I hated school all my life. Uh good for the kids at Overworks Little Field. Why did you leave your school? Some people just don't like school. Some people don't. Uh, yeah, don't some like people do things. not like school. Like my friend. Cindy Brown said, "Are you go uh, guys going to join the come on uh, our mountain home working with Wiley Moving Convoy?" Um, they haven't said anything about that to us yet, uh, Cindy. However, to be completely honest with you. We have been behind on pretty much everybody's. We haven't watched YouTube in so long, so we're really not sure what's going on in everybody's life. Yeah, we haven't really been watching YouTube lately. Um, so I'm sure when the time is, we'll be ready. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I haven't been watching. You have to set. You have to set to yes until we'll accept a membership. Said Lori Carp. Can't wait to David Anthony and Tim will be the new Wild Hogs. Yeah, that's that right. Funny movie. I like that movie, yeah. Wild Hogs. Yeah, Andrew from Country Road Cure leading the way. <laughs> I just wanted to play Serenity. No books for me. <laughs> Joe Jacobson said, hello, prayers and blessings, all from eastern Iowa. And hello to all the youngsters, too. Nona said Serenity. Yep. Carolyn says hello. Hola. <laughs> I'm a nerd, so I like school. Also, I like to be finished with school, said Uncle David. <laughs> Come on, keeping it real. And if you're not subscribed to Come On, Keeping It Real, you guys need to go over there to Uncle David and catch Come On, Keeping It Real. That is his everyday vlog channel where he gets behind the scenes and sneak peeks and get to catch up on an everyday basis with him as well, other than just seeing his videos on Come On Home Say. And don't forget, also, Fired Up Friday, he's got the what's happenings with the what's happenings in the kitchen. Rue, well, congratulations to your daughter. He's, uh, what is it? I have to go back up. It's a longer one. Oh. See the arrow? Oh, I lost it. Right there. Hit the arrow. There you go. There you go. See it. Uh, getting on, taking it at school. My youngest just got unconditional acceptance to her first choice university. It'll mean she's going to live a couple hundred miles away, but I'm so proud. Wow. To pick any university, that is, that is amazing. That's huge. Congratulations That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Sad because it'll be a couple hundred miles away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we could be happy for her. Yes, that's good. That's proud of her. Yeah. You know what, Paul? That sounds like something Wiley would say that he didn't want to. You don't want to be a burden to anybody, something like that. I'm gonna have to call. I got direct direct connect phone number, so I'm gonna give him a call. Will you hit that blue arrow, please, and put it back down? Uh, blue arrow, drop it down to the bottom of the chat. Thanks. Just wanted to jump on and say, hey, hey, thanks again for the mountain trip oh, the other day. Had a blast. I'll see you on the next trip. Much love to you and all. That's uh, Kosha. That's uh, Gary with Junk the Gym Homestead's daughter. Thanks a lot. It was cool oh, meeting, yeah, you. Kosha. meeting you. Kosha. 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 Spit it out. Kosha. Kosha. Yeah. <laughs> The main front teeth. Matthew Evans said, I'm getting hungry. What's for supper, Alyssa? We're having spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> now Gary and Mike need some uh need bikes. Maybe a Vespa for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Here, bye. 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 B
Fire Dropping the links for Fired Up Friday. Thank you so much, Cindy Brown. Southern Pride said you all did great on the road also. Thank you. Let's go. She said, yes, you got it right, Serenity. <laughs> Kosha. Kosha. I can't really talk because now look. I got two grown up. Hey, Paul, I think if Mike gets a road bike, he should get a trike. Haha, uh -huh. not as much risk of energy. So it's hard for me to talk. Yep. Yeah. Hey, actually, that's funny you said that, uh, Midnight Adventures, because I did actually think about getting a trike uh, just because it is a little bit more comfortable. And it's something that Lissa would also feel a little bit more comfortable riding in the future, she said. Right? Yeah. I had 15 bean soup with ham hocks and rice, he said, for dinner. Really? Dang. Well, it's 659, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. 646. Oh, that's right. The time on the computer. The time I've been looking at the time on the computer. I forgot that the time on my computer was both. You can cut it short though and they can go watch the movie. Or no, the... no, it's okay. No. I got suspended twice for beating beating the bullies up and a deputy head. <laughs> no, it's grilled it's... cheese and tomato soup. That's good. You're so bad because you were protecting yourself or others. Here you go, baby. But it's also bad because you're poor. So it's a good you want to talk bad. about that? <laughs> so it's good about that. Don't let Lissa drive. Seen her ride the trike. <laughs> uh, David uh, Markham said you have wonderful kids. Congratulations on the good grades in school. Thank you so much. Please don't mess with that screen. I know I don't want you to even touch the screen because accidents happen. So, oh, Mama B with Possum Run Homestead. How's it going? Uh, Thanks 15. for hanging out with us tonight. I just, about the time. How about are you guys? Time. Good for you. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. So, Lissa wants me to show you guys something that just come out of the box. We haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet. What is it? This is uh, something that connects to our phone. It is a thermal imaging, imagery camera, thermal camera, basically. And uh, we're going to be using this for several things here on the homestead. It is a sponsor. So this is going to be a sponsorship uh, deal here. But uh, Lissa is going to be uh, doing some ghost hunting and using this. Yeah, Lissa, Lissa likes to do uh, paranormal investigations, and we like to go into like abandoned houses and stuff like that. And I think this would be very cool. So she was excited. Mike just admitted he owns a stupid computer that he can't tell time. Mine tells me when to change the clocks. <laughs> I tell you what though, at least my old uh, Lenovo ThinkPad, at least it doesn't die when I plug in the daggone power for it. I know that. <laughs> I have not told a soul and I know I'm among friends here, but I'm giving serious thought to moving to Turkey when my daughter goes to university. Oh, is that where she's thinking about going to Turkey? Yeah, really? or <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Um, and I tell you what, moving, especially to a new country, would probably be completely nerve wracking. So I support your decision and think you are absolutely amazing for even thinking about considering making that choice. <laughs> Anabor, listen, you and I have got to be sisters in past lives. <laughs> oh, did you say that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't read it, but I, I read it. <laughs> it doesn't say it all. Well. Good night, David. Don't work too hard. It's such a limb. Good night. It's so funny, Sam and Kobe. Uh, my kids have, keep, have been telling me about that. And also, Drew and Lindsay told me about them, too, to yep. watch them. Uh, Mama V with Possum Run Homestead says she can't tag, guys. She is on the phone. Sorry. Good night, Cindy Brown. We love you. Thank you so much for doing what you do with us. Let's try. Okay, we've got, we got a little minutes. We're good. We're good. we still got over 470 people here with us. Thank you all so much. Thank you. No, uni's in the UK, but she won't be local. I'm thinking of moving overseas. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Hmm. 
Dang. Either way, there. That's a that's a big that's a big thing. Listen, you have to be careful with that you're wearing crystals. Some spirits might be attracted to it. Yes, ma'am. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Go to the Crescent Hotel, Haunted Hotel in Eureka Springs. It is an old, old ghost uh, haunting story. No? I no, heard about that hotel on some of the shows you watch, actually. We watch all kinds of paranormal activity shows and haunted this and that and stuff like that. Um, we're really big into watching like ancient aliens and um, anything with like a like history of ancient anything where you know stuff. Yeah. It's stuff very intriguing <laughs> things to us. Mommy really likes haunted stuff. Paranormal con on camera is probably like one of my all time favorite TV shows. L Lumpy Burke said, "I still don't know if I'm a drifter or a dreamer." <laughs> and you're both. <laughs> I was just gonna say go do that to the Eureka Springs at the Crescent Hotel. Everybody says, yeah, the penthouse has lots of activity. Oh, we gotta get a check it out. I wonder how much it is. I think that would be cool. I think that would be real cool. Maybe a little birthday present. I know your birthday is next month. Yeah. Okay. The cost of living in Turkey oh, yeah. means I can live quite well on the disability pension I get from my employer. Nice. Now there's hey, that's thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Hey, Daddy. Will it be a language barrier for you, or are you going to be able to to speak? I know in in Turkey they speak several different languages. I'm not sure exactly what region you'll be in. Uh, Crescent yeah. is an old cancer hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah, the lo lots of deaths have been there. Hold on, baby. Uh, they have a really good special going on for like a hundred bucks. You can stay in the penthouse and you can stay in another place. They run specials all the time. Eureka Springs at the Crescent. Nice. Nice. That's, that's a deal. Nice. That's something we could definitely, that's definitely on a budget, in our budget. So, Daddy. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I, we practice ways to uh, protect ourselves and things like that. No, we so we're not just going in there and not knowing what we're doing and how to protect ourselves and things like that. Okay. Smart idea. I'm already learning Turkish. Good idea. Start jumping on ahead of time. I got. I was eating uh, oatmeal cream pie. Now yeah. I've had it all on my teeth. <laughs> Matthew Evans said, I drift through work and dream about being off. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have tree houses. Divinely protected. That's right. Mike, we will spend $100 just to stay awake all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, the Crescent Hospital was by a uh, con man, Dr. Baker. I think, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, I agree. I, 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 I watched something on that. Treasure Hunter Neil said I, he's also been to the Crescent. <laughs> Uncle David said, not me. I'm taking sipping cream and seeing what happens. <laughs> So what's up, Uncle David? You gonna go with us to the haunted hotel and do some uh, paranormal investigations with Lissa's new thermal imaging camera? You know we'll be recording I'm so all kinds of stuff. Excited for this camera! I've always wanted one. Natasha Lynn said, "I'm dreaming of those blow up hot tubs in the middle of my living room floor. That would be my vacay right now." <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, I have sat in one of those blow up hot tubs, and let me tell you. The one that I was in, it works. That joker works. And it was, it was in the middle of a, a garage. I have to ask, uh, what is sipping cream? Uh, sipping cream is a, a flavored alcoholic beverage. Um, it's a like a, a lighter percent of moonshine. Uh, it's a it's a flavored kind of alcoholic like a, beverage. Milkshake. Yeah, kind of like a like an alcoholic like milkshake in a way. Different flavors, but the best texture I could say is uh you would you would put it in the fridge or the freezer, get it good and cold, and it's kind of mm. kind of thick, not quite as thick as syrup, but it's it's an acquired taste. Mm -hmm. So um, I ain't scared of no ghost. <laughs> I'm scared of no ghosts. Oh, 
Yes. Interesting what wildlife you see, though, uh, through the lens at DD5. True. I have a blow up kayak. Would that be close enough? Said David. <laughs> if you get really hot water and pour it in the seat of your blow up kayak and get in it, and blow some bubbles. <laughs> Arkansas is a very dry state, so when an alcoholic beverage bought is when shopping across the state. Yeah. I've seen that earlier, actually. Um, that's true. We do, uh, in Arkansas, there are, and, and America is different. Um, most of America is not dry. It's what's called a wet state where you can purchase alcohol as long as you're legal, uh, old enough, which is 21. Um, but Arkansas and some other states do have dry counties, and the county we're particularly in does not sell alcohol. And uh, the closest place for us to go to be able to buy uh, like beer or something like beer or wine is like 30 minutes away. And then if it's any kind of liquor or something like that, it's about 45 minutes away. Really? Yeah, like a Bailey's Irish cream. Yes. Let's start. I took my honeymoon in Eureka Springs, said Treasure Hunter Neal. Yes, Mike Birch, like Kahlua. That's a good way to describe it. Uh, our honeymoon was after we got married. It is? May 28th. Um, Liz, me and Mommy actually went to a place called Cedar Key for our honeymoon. I know where Cedar Key. Cedar Key. I know Cedar Key. Cedar Key. And you know what, though? Or works little field said you're, you're in the Bible Belt, the church on every corner. But you know what? That's kind of the South itself. Uh, it's not really just here in Arkansas because in Florida, there's also lots and lots. I mean, the two most common things to find in Florida are churches, jails, and, and liquor stores. Uh, so it's, you know, that's how that goes. So it's just different for, for here. <clears throat> I was expecting you to screaming at me, Jamie, said Paul Honeyman. <laughs> right, right, Ian J. Smith. It's not illegal to possess it, but it's uh, illegal to uh, for other stores to purchase it. It's weird. It's really, in my opinion, it's dumb. It's real dumb. Turkey is a Muslim country, but you can still buy alcohol there. I'm surprised there's places in the States you can't buy it. I'm also surprised. Maggie Creek said, darn it, missed your live. I forgot it was Friday. I have four minutes. Well, thank you for giving me the update. Maggie Creek, since you missed it, uh, there will be a, a video coming out right after the live on Drifting Dreamers 5. It is our adventure of going to clean off those big, beautiful crystals you've seen right there in the thumbnail. Daddy. Any suggestions on how to break open one of those crystals? Yeah, there's a, there's a good question for the end. What do you guys uh, think the best and safest way uh, to bust open these crystals would be? Yeah, that's a professional hammer. Virginia said, me and my husband got married and also spent our honeymoon in Cedar Key Island. <laughs> that's uh, awesome. Got it. So pack extra toilet paper uh, underwear then. I think Natasha Lynn is saying. <laughs> Determined by each county with the votes. Right. Yeah. Each individual county votes on that. Google it. Concrete drill or a diamond blade. Okay. Jackhammer. Yeah. I do have a. A rubber mallet. I do have a rubber mallet. Big sledgehammer. Chisel and hammer. Okay, yeah. Lonnie yeah, Hammond. exactly, McKevin. That's that's the best way to do anything. Just Google it. The almighty Google has all answers. I'll Google it. What Dude, about I could do that with some of the smaller, bigger pieces that we have with the crystals. Um, but the really two big ones, they're so heavy. It's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mama <laughs> Carolyn. If you could ask your friends. Daddy, Google it. Uh, no, I won't a minute. I'll Google it. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Another live with DD5. We really do appreciate you. Yeah. It's another 
another day down, another journey completed, and another, another one will start adventure. tomorrow. <laughs> and another adventure tomorrow. Yep. We're, uh, I went and bought some materials today to work on the dog fence around back to get some post up. We'll be able to wrap that up hopefully pretty soon and then move on to the shelves. Got to get the shelves done. Love you guys. Keep on following your dreams. And that includes moving to new countries, going to search for rocks, or even just jumping in your bubble bath or putting it in the garage with a hot tub. Come on, man. <laughs> Have a great weekend, guys. Hey, hey, remember. If you can dream it, you can drift it. Bye. Bye. We can't split it. <laughs> she couldn't wait to say it. <laughs> I couldn't. So, I can't serenity, serenity. It's still a hot mic. It's not even over yet. Oh, hi.